everybody, I'm Quadbro, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect the Fly Sky iBus to um, your SP Racing F3 board. I uh, don't know about Naze 32 or CC3D. Uh, I'm just going to be showing you uh, SP3 because that's all I figured out how to do. Um, I'll go ahead and say this will only work for the Fly Sky FSI6B, not the stock IA6 that comes with the I6 if that's the transmitter you're using. But I'll go ahead and show you if you don't if you don't have an IA6B, these these are really cheap. You can get these for like 15 bucks now. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to get this cable where it's one of these pico blade connectors and on the end you have the black red and white wires um which go i don't know if you can see this in this order uh wait wrong order sorry let me get that straightened out so from the bottom to the top uh it's ground, uh, 5 volt out, and signal. So, let me set my radio down over here. Um, what you need to do is you need to connect it to IO2, which is beside the buzzer uh, pads or pins, depending on how it's set up for you. If you have pins or not. So there you go, simple as that. And now what you're gonna want to do is take your uh, your receiver here. Sorry, I have it connected to my top plate here. The zip ties. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna be utilizing these top three pins right here. These horizontal pins at the top. Um, see, that'd be right. I think. Take it. Get your directions right, quad bro. Um, so what you're going to do is get my arms around everything. So what you're going to want to do, I'm going to take your, the other end of your cables. Uh, signal goes to this far side over here, like so. Uh, positive goes in the middle. And then ground goes. I don't know if your guys' cables will be like this. This is how mine were. Um, so simply it goes like. This is not my usual filming location. I can't really get everything to cooperate here. So it goes like that. Ground on this side positive in the middle signal on the other side here so pretty simple so now what you need to do is you need to go on the clean flight or the beta flight configurator I'll be using the beta flight configurator um, if you're using clean flight clean flight it's well worth switching over to beta flight it's so much more locked in so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and go right there Okay, so here we are. I couldn't really get a good camera angle going on the tripod, so what you gotta do is you have to connect your board. Um, and then once you have that done, you can go ahead and hit connect right there. And you know, you're connected to your board now, so. Um, so first what you need to do is you need to go to ports. So let's go there. And on UART 3, you need to check Serial RX. So be sure to hit Save and Reboot. So that's all you need to do there. So then you need to go to just Configuration. And scroll down a little bit. And be sure to check RX Serial. And then select iBus on the serial receiver provider and hit save and reboot down there. 
Now if I plug in a battery Okay, I got a battery plugged in here Now if you'll see Get everything out of the way. Uh, be sure and go to receiver tab. If you're testing this, didn't exactly plan this out all the way. So you'll see when I'm moving my throttle that I got throttle movement. So that's nice. You got yaw, you got pitch. And then you got roll. They seem to be a little bit more accurate with IBUS. And then I've got Ox One going. <coughs> so, so there you go. That's how you set up IBUS on your FlySky system. <coughs> Hopefully, that was helpful to some of you. I think it will be. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if the flight experience will be any different than just regular PPM, but we'll save that for another video, or I can just tell you in the comments or something. Uh, but anyway, please like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.